Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, Warhammer 40k. It may be severed, but it's still the enemy's strong point. Attack will not be enough to stop the forces of chaos. I know. Good luck, Titan. All right. Oh, do we get to? Oh, did I get sidetracked again? Oh boy. And actually, I'm I'm just thinking to myself. Am I might try and finish this game in this play session because I don't think I actually have too much left of this game to do, which is an exciting thought. An exciting, and weird thought. Like, it's been a good game, but then I need to figure out like what I want to play after this, and like. Oh, no, 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 we still need to walk across. Okay, sorry. I was, I was being a silly goose. I have no idea what I want to play next. And I, I still want to talk about skill cookies, because I've not done my round yet, but... Uh, no, I honestly have no idea. Like, I have some idea. Like, I might... Like, I don't know. Like, there's a couple games I want to play, but I'm not quite sure what exactly I'll play next. I might actually do Yoshi's Island. If we're being entirely honest. Like, I might... Just for change of pace, because I feel like I do like a lot of like M-rated adventure games. Whereas like Yoshi's Island would be like a very, uh, I think it'd be like a pretty nice, like, friendly game. Like I'm not worried about like scaring my audience away with playing like nothing but M games. But the point I'm just trying to make is like I think it's been a while since I've actually played like. Something like Yoshi's Island, which I think the change in pace might be pretty nice. But, like, I don't know. Because, like, I think the, the, the format of Yoshi's Island, like, I don't know if that will be really conducive to how I record stuff. Like, it's, it's hard for me to say, so I was like, well, maybe I will do something else. Anyways, that's, that's for me to worry about, not you guys. But no, Skittle Cookies, like, this guy keeps asking for Skittle Cookies, and it's like, I don't know why you want them so badly. Like, maybe he just loves Skittles so much? Like, like it's hard for me to say. And no, we're going to keep the Thunder Hammer, because I am unreasonably stubborn. I, if you guys hate me using the Thunder Hammer, like, leave a comment down below. Because, uh, yeah, yeah man, like, look at that. Well, I die now. Oh, cool. Yes. We will take you out. <laughs> yeah, smash the concrete. Alright, I'm content to leave that guy if we don't have to fight him. Because I'll just take time, like, shooting him with a plasma rifle. Like, nah, I'll just leave him alone. We'll kill him eventually. We have more pressing things to attend to. Hey, that sounds dead. So, like, I just don't think Skittles go that well on cookies. And I think I can, like, just, like, rage about this point for, like, a good 20 minutes to be like, yeah, I just don't think they go well together. Like, Skittles and cookies just aren't a match made in heaven. And, like, I just think it's mostly the texture of Skittles, too. Or I think if you're going to make cookies out of them, like, you have to do optimized cookies. Like, a more fruity-based cookie. Like, I think that's, like, what you would have to do. And again, I don't want to say that skill cookies are, excuse me, are impossible. I just don't think you can just make them haphazardly, you know? Alright, see, I'm really happy I get the Thunder Hammer now. Come here. <laughs> Once we got the Thunder Hammer, we never gave it up. 
Can actually let's just like pick off some uh some cultists here. So far so good. I'm expecting to see a chaos sorcerer, but I don't see one anywhere. I need to scream out the skill keys, like let me know like Smarties go very well on cookies, I think. But scales not so much. But it's like smarties are chocolate though, and I think it's easier to do like chocolate themed stuff into cookies than say like fruit. But I think like I wonder if like that's personal preference, right? Like I will never really um seek out banana flavored cookies over say like chocolate mint or something. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Banana cookies I would actually like to try, which I guess that brings me to my next point. Like, how come we don't have banana-flavored soft drinks? Like, do bananas just, like, not taste good in soft drinks? Or is that... Like, do they exist and I just don't know about them? Like, I always feel like that's something that would exist in the United States. And just, like, not here in Canada. You know, maybe I'd be wrong. And, like, I know... Like, in other parts of the world they have different foods. And that I don't... I'm not aware of. I guess that's like, you know, an argument for saying like, oh, like we should go, like, people should travel more so you can experience like the rest of the world. And I think, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I, I think we want to run down the ramp. Because I'm sure they have all sorts of crazy things in like, say, like Japan, Italy, Ireland, uh, Germany, et cetera, et cetera. Like, in the context of Canada, like, I can say, like, we don't have banana-flavored sodas, but... Like, part of me feels like that's, like, true for... Oh. That's true for a lot of part of the world. Uh-oh. He's on the bull to turn, that's why. <laughs> We're dead. Better crippled in body, yeah, I don't think there's much hope for us. In mind. And like some sort of flavors are like probably. I know it's like too. They they just put like cherry and colas like. And uh, you know, I wonder if like that's for them if they've done their market research. They probably have because otherwise would they? Why would they try those flavors? Because I'm sure like that people like them, right? Like I like a a banana coke flavor probably wouldn't be that popular. Which I guess like that's probably why we haven't seen it yet. Or if at all. So I think I need to pick off more of these guys down here. First and foremost. But then like part of me wants to wonder too is like have they even tried banana soda? Like I think I guess what it really comes down to is all I'm really trying to say is that as far as sodas are concerned, bananas are probably like Something I prefer more. Yeah, swing that hammer around. I, and I wonder, like, how many people actually like bananas? Because I don't feel like that's, like, a common thing to, like, absolutely love. But not, like, actually, I don't know, like, I'm talking out of my mouth here. Like, I'm making commentary for the sake of commentary. And this goes back to earlier where I'm like, oh, yeah, like, maybe we shouldn't force commentary. Like, we should make it be natural. But then, like, I almost wonder, too, like, I think at that point, like, it's natural for me to say kind of, like, dumb things and be like, wait, what did I just say? Like, I think that's, like, part of my charm, to be honest. Like, I feel like part of my charm for commentary co or commenting is that, like, I'll just, like, I charge through the commentary and, like, I trip over my words and everything. If I remain like undeterred, I'm just like, no, let's keep let's keep this train going. Man, this Thunderhammer is doing very good for us. Like the demons are so easy with us. Like, like this is where I feel justified in taking the hammer. Anyways, I noticed these guys get stuck in the balls a lot. I don't think the pathfinding for this game is 
Phenomenal. Her down he goes. All right, well, let's change our position a little bit. Saw a heretic. Oh, it's a Chaos Space Marine. All right, well, let's take out this guy, and then we'll end the episode. So um, I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully we don't die at the beginning of the next episode. But uh, until then, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.